Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to some more of the Harrogate Town Youth Squad Legends. Here we are now in November of Season 7? I think it's 7. Yeah, we're doing well. We're in the Champions League position, which is where we need to be. Um, we've had a couple of iffy results over the last games or so, but uh, I'm, I'm sure we can turn things around this time. Right. So, let's have a look at our squad update. So... <sighs> Right, well, you can be gone. Uh, Manning, oh, I'm very disappointed in that one. I really want a defender. Uh, I'm going to keep you for now because we do possibly have an issue with goalkeepers. Hopefully, it's not going to be a problem. Hopefully, Maynard will be back. Um, but we've got three goalkeepers in the squad. One's injured and the other two are going out on loan in January. So we might need to bring him up. Even though he's not got the best potential, potentially, we might need to bring him up still. Right, let's continue pushing forward. Newcastle United is our first game of the episode. A game where I'd love to get the three points, so I might just play our strongest squad in that one just to ensure we get what we need. Alright, sim that bad boy as well. Right, Newcastle, you're going down. When we eventually get to the Newcastle game, they're going down anyway. I, I've changed things up a little bit. I spoke about this in the last time round. I've changed it now so we don't get any rest days. Because we've got such a big squad, we can always be doing training and rush rotating, essentially. So we should be okay still. Um, yeah, so let's go with our strongest lineup for this one. Of course, we don't have Maynard still. Um, so that's why we have to auto-replace. I can't be bother to change every single squad to get rid of him just for... Sake of a few games. So, yeah, we'll quick sim this one. And we'll walk away with a 2 0 win. Goals for Banks and for Baldwin. Lovely jubbly. We saw uh, Bahusa and King get a bit of football as well. Uh, and Liverpool defeated Manchester City, which is nice for us. I mean, a draw would have been the best that we could have gained two points in the pair of them. But gaining points on Man City, that does put us ahead of Chelsea, but they do have a game in hand on us now. And the scouts are back already. We're whizzing through this one, aren't we? Right, let's see. I can't remember I sent them to. Oh, hello, Alexander Gogol. Yes, I have aimed for defenders on this one, and I feel like we found a decent one already. I've gone for physically strong players in Eastern Europe, and I think we've found a pretty decent one there. Okay, next up then, we're in Morocco. I'll scout you further. You will take, definitely. So, uh, you can go, you can go. You will scout further. And you two can both go as well. Okay. So we've got one really good defender so far. Oh, George Canales. You could be up to an 80 already. 79 to 94. Okay, you could be a cracker there, Canales, for us, my friend. I am very interested in Canales. He's going to be crap, though, isn't he? I I'm going to guarantee you right now, right? Was he 59 to 80? I reckon he's going to be 63. 63. That's my guess. Let's have a look. 69. Okay, not actually bad at all, you know. Not bad at all, which I'm actually tempted to take him straight up at 69. I might leave it till January. Yeah, I might just leave it till January, actually, because um, we do have quite a few players going out on loan, so I can give him the, the, um, what we need to give him after that. Okay. Gogol is a right back and a centre back. Okay, so let's make you a defensive wide back. And then finally, Bahiri is a CDM centre back and centre mid, which is lovely. So we'll put you on defensive midfield as well. Okay, lovely. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing well. That was a terrible Australian accent. I do apologise profusely for that terrible Australian accent. Uh, let's continue on. Hello, Kitty. Thank you for standing on the keyboard. You are very useful. Oh, yeah. You can, I don't know if you heard that in the background. That was the cat pressing the buttons with her feet and making the computer go mad. Right, so more training, more training, more training. 
So Chelsea did win their game in hand, which drops us back down to fourth position. And Arsenal and Spurs are not dropping away at all either, are they? It's pretty tight up here. There's one point between second and sixth at the moment, so we do need to really push on. But I think the advantage we have is that we have played a lot of our harder games. We've already played the majority of the other top six. We're really doing so much training at the moment, aren't we? We've got another international break, is this, I think. Pretty sure it is, yeah. So we're doing a lot of training. Getting that sharpness up is good. Again, I might just mix and match to um, a different squad where there's less players that are playing. Just get those players sharpened up as well. That moves the morale around a little bit as well. We've got Southampton next in the league. And then it's Blackburn was our final game, wasn't it? I'll tell you what, we've rushed through this month so quickly, I reckon we can actually watch both games. Because we're really going through this month a lot quicker than uh, normal. So I reckon we can pull this out the bag. Right, Southampton first. Um... Do I want to change things up a little bit? There's just some random kids screaming outside the house. I don't know why. Don't know what's wrong with them, but that's fine. Um, right, so let's go with this one. Tavares and Samoas on the pitch. Auto replace the goalkeeper, of course. Apart from that, we look pretty strong. I will actually change one of the CDMs around. Let's take off Dragomir and we'll give Canale the game. Let's go with... Uh, let me just double check if any of these were on. No, they're all on the same potential. So I'm going to go with... I mean, I could just go with Butkus, I suppose. Let's go with... Um, let's go with Bahusu. Okay, he's the strongest. Um, anyone else I want to give a bit of first-team football to? I could bring in Bitege, maybe. Onto the bench. Actually, I might start him. No, let's not start him. Let's just not risk it. Okay. So if we're doing well, we know we've got those two players in the bench to bring on, get some match fitness going on. Right, let's go. They got Luke. Shaw. They got Luke Shaw. Is that Luke Shaw on the left wing? I'm not sure. Uh, I made a pun and I didn't even mean to. Uh, right, let's um, stop being a weirdo. All right, then let's see how we get on. Some reason there we go. They're loaded now. The players on the on the sides haven't loaded yet. Banks, come on! This could be an early goal for us if we do well here. Cut it in. Banks got to be one nil. Mo Villa with a goal after five minutes. We lead the game. You love to see it, don't you? You don't love to see that though. Come on, we've got some great defenders. We've got world-class defenders. We've got three players over 90-plus now, haven't we? We've got Coburn and we've got um, Banks, and we've got Hilton, who's not playing today. Oh, Hilton is playing today. We should be hammering teams like Southampton. Come on, there's some players in the bench that are really relying on you guys. Come on, lads. Come on. Big ball forward. It's over the top. Oh, it's not ideal, is it? It's not ideal at all at the moment.
Right, here we go. Bring it forward, Banks. Atado, big ball over the top. It's too heavy. We keep doing that. Too many big, big, heavy balls over the top and it just goes straight off the pitch. It's a real common thing for us. Right, here we go. Lovely ball forward. Cut it in. Oh. All right, 1-1. One, one. Hello, kitty. How are you? The kitty's here to see me, and she's covered in mud. What are you doing in the mud? She likes to lay. Now that it's nice and warm, it's got a bit more summery now. She likes to go and lay in the bushes at the back of the garden. Yeah, I know you do. I found you, didn't I? She goes and lays in the bush in the back of the garden for an hour, then she comes in for some cuddles, then she goes back out to the bushes. Gotta make sure I'm still here, haven't you? And we need to make sure we score a goal here. Come on! There's Banks. Can we please just get ourselves a goal? This should be an easy win. Hilton, that's a penalty? Penalty? Gotta be a penalty. It is a penalty, right. Um, we jump in for these. We take these penalties, don't we? It's Banks to take the penalty. Why are my buttons wrong? It's square to... Why was it square to shoot? Why was it square to shoot? I don't know. <laughs> I must have my controller set up wrong. But there we go. Banks with a goal. Makes it 2-1. It's nice to see our players on the pitch, isn't it, for a change? Simple penalty. Keeper actually went the right way. Just wasn't good enough. It wasn't a very good penalty, to be honest. Wasn't a very good penalty at all, but I will take it all day long. And we will jump back to the sim. There we go. 2-1 lead. Do we want to make any changes? Let's just do it. Let's go on. Let's just do it. Let's just do it and hope for the best. I mean, the ball... It's going to be a long time before they actually come on the pitch anyway, isn't it? Because the ball's got to go off first. If the ball goes off when they score, I'm going to be devastated. Right, there we go. Banks brings it forward. Well, it's Tavares bringing it forward. You know what the cats are eating? It's a disgusting noise you just hear in the background. Just a... Well, bring it forward. Yep, nice. Lovely. I mean, these players are not actually going to come on the pitch. There we go. They're going to get like two minutes now, Butkus and <laughs> Pitege, but they're on the pitch. That's the main thing. And they almost got a goal. Who was that? It was 45. Butkus almost got a goal there as well. All right, a 2-1 win against Southampton. is is It's okay. It's not. It's three points, which is great. But it's just not as good as it needed to be, was it really? But there we go. We got the points anyway. That's the main thing. We got the freaking points. That's the main thing. Right, which puts us up into second position. Okay, uh, that's because Man City and Chelsea haven't played yet. That's the only reason why. So they, there we go. Chelsea hops straight back up. Man City doesn't, though. Man City does not. They're three points underneath us now. Interesting. And we're only two points behind Liverpool as well. So they've dropped some points as well somewhere. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Yeah, Butkus is getting his training up. We needed that. Um... So not quite sure why Bitege is so annoyed, but let's play him in this next game. Because it's Blackburn. It should be an easy one. I reckon they're one of the teams that have just been promoted. So we should be able to play him in this game without any major issues. Hopefully. Hopefully being the key word. 
All right, there we go. Um, where Montgomery wants to play as well. So is it this one here, isn't it? Yeah, okay, it's this formation here. So we will auto-replace. And then we'll also team management and we will play Montgomery there. Why is Keen so unhappy? He's very unhappy, Keen. Very unhappy. Maybe I need to do some more um, contracts, maybe. Okay. Okay, we'll leave it like that then. And let's get into the game. We'll sim this one again because we've got a little bit of time. Plus, I'm just interested to see how we get on. So, Bitege is playing. He, I believe, is the Ubamiang regen. I believe. Be phone ringing. Come on, get that ball in. Oh, nearly. It's a good start, though. We're in firm control of this game. Into the box again. Not quite. What number's Bitege, anyway? Number 10. That was him. That's him on the ball here, then. Cuts it back. Into the middle again. Not enough. We're all over them, though. It's a matter of time. Surely it's a matter of time here. Right, here we go. Forward again, Montgomery. Luckily gets away with the ball there. Hilton into Keane. Oh, Keane. I know you're very unhappy, but surely that should have been a goal still. I'm very unhappy as well now, Keane. Come on, lads, get there, get there, get there. Right, come on, bring it forward. There's Hilton. Out wide to Kraus, back to Hilton. No, it's not a good pass. I mean, we've dominated the game and just haven't got the... Just the one goal will make me a bit more secure here. Just one goal will do it. Hilton... Come on, make your turn. Oh, Hilton, good shot. Oh, maybe it wasn't, actually. I thought it was a save, but it just bolted out over the top by the looks of it. Right, half time. We've had more possession, but five shots and two chances. Oh, good pass. Great pass. Cut back. Get in the box, there's Bitege. Eh. No. No. Bugger. Come on, Roberts. Come on, Roberts. Yes. What a save. What a save. We needed that. Come on. Montgomery. Let's get the goal from the counter-attack from the penalty. Go on. Oh, maybe not. Um, I don't know what to do with this, then. The Striker-wise, they're playing okay. They just haven't got that. That's Montgomery. Go on. Oh, what a save by... Their goalkeeper's been man the match so far, yeah. On Hilton, gotta be keen. Yes, get in. It didn't go in. <laughs> it didn't go in. Ah. Right, we have to make some changes, then, aren't we? And the Tege off for Tavares. Montgomery off for Banks. 
And Mo Villa on for Keane. Oh. We're just not scoring a lot of goals at the moment, are we? Here's Hilton on the break away. Hilton, come on, man. Come on. Get in the box, Kraus. Right, triple substitution made now, though. Movilla, Tavares, and Banks on the pitch. Kraus cuts it in. And Banks on the pitch for a matter of seconds gets the goal. And that's just how good it is having a 98-rated midfielder in your squad. I feel comfortable now. I don't think Blackburn are going to equalise. They've not really put any pressure on our goal at all or game. Come on. Get it forward. Get it clear. Get it away. Banks can try and get a second. We do get a second. It's Tavares, another one of the substitutes off the bench, slamming it into the top corner and a 2-0 win. Whew. Man City got the win. Anything else interesting? I don't think there was, really. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. It keeps us in second position. We are now three points clear of Man City, who are in fifth. So three points inside... The Champions League spots. And um, we're doing okay. Movilla has four more. He'd be three. Yeah, looks like he's capped out at 83. Okay, that's not a problem. Um, yeah, he's, that's not a problem. We know he's going to be an 83 rated. It's a good little backup striker for us. Well, there we go. We'll call that the end of this one. Um, what have we got lined up for the next month, which is December? It is December. Do, 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 do. It's a packed month. Wow. Villa at home. Wolves away. West Ham at home. Away at Watford. At home to Man City. At home to Wolves. And away at Villa. Seven games all squished into one month. It was three games in this month. So we're going to have a lot, a lot, a lot of games next month. Of course, if you've enjoyed this one, like, subscribe, leave a good stuff. And I will see you again next time for the painful month known as December.